Hi everyone, welcome back to a Niger Man's Perspective. Today, going back to tennis, going back to tennis, I think last time I spoke about tennis, I talked about the Wimbledon final. I did two videos, if I remember, uh, between uh, Carlos Alcaraz and Novak Djokovic. And of course, uh, Carlos Alcaraz won that one, uh, winning his second consecutive Wimbledon title and his fourth Grand Slam uh, in total, incredible uh, achievements for a 21-year-old player. But we're talking about the Olympics today, and the same men are playing in the final. So just giving a few of my thoughts for this particular final. Um, Djokovic has played really well, hasn't lost a set. Alcaraz has played very well as well. He hasn't lost a set. They are playing tomorrow uh, and they are both vying for the gold medal. This is Djokovic's first final in five attempts. Incredible for somebody that has won every single thing in the game. For him to be getting to the final for the first time. But he's done well. He's done well. Uh, he's had a couple of issues. Uh, knee issue. He had to do an operation. But I think he's, he's in fine form. Um, second major uh, final uh in about a month um he was in the final of Wimbledon like I said earlier and now he's in the final of the Olympics Alcaraz has had a tier this year winning two slams for the first time in a year in his extremely young career is playing the same person and it's going to be interesting um I'm not going to talk too much about this one going into their forehands and their backhands and serve I think uh, both of them serve really well. Uh, Djokovic serves incredibly well. One of the best servers ever in the game. Possibly one of the best returners, top two returners in the game. Carlos Alcaraz is on a 12-match winning streak. Won seven consecutive matches to win his second Wimbledon. And he's won five matches. So the Olympic format has six matches to get to the final. Whereas the Grand Slam matches has seven uh uh, matches to get to the final or seven including the final and if Al Carlos Alcaraz wins this match he would have won 30 matches in a row on two surfaces I must add because the Olympic uh, tennis matches are being played in the Roland Garros uh, stadium which is clay and Wimbledon was in grass so who's going to win hmm. who is going to win I'm going to go straight into my prediction. Um, I think I think it's going to be a three-set affair. I wasn't going to do a prediction on this because I said, okay, may the best man win. And I, still, and I still think may the best man win. But actually, before I go into my prediction, I think Djokovic is super, super relaxed. He's nervous because I saw a bit of nervousness in his match uh, against Mossetti in the semifinals. But he played really well, uh, beating Mossetti in straight sets. Um, Carlo Corraz had a tear in a second, in, 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 his, in a semifinal, beating uh, Felix Oje Aliciem, uh, I think 6-1, 6-1. And both of them look fantastic. That's both Djokovic and Alcaraz. They look both um, great. And I think it's going to be a good final. I think no good, Djokovic is going to be a bit nervous. Uh, if you look at what he said in his presser or when he was interviewed after his semi-final match, he was really happy. He was bubbly. Uh, he said he has nothing to lose because now he has a guaranteed silver. So early on, he had played and uh, he only had one bronze uh, medal. In the, in the previous four attempts, it now has a guaranteed silver medal. Whatever happens, if he wins the match, obviously, he gets the gold, which is what he wants, which is what he's always wanted, which is the missing link in his glittering career. He's always wanted that Olympic gold. Now, only four players, five players, sorry, before him. Was it five? I think it's four. No, only four players before him had won what is called the... Um, the Golden Slam. So Golden Slam is winning French Open, Australian Open, Wimbledon, US Open, and the Olympic gold medal. So 
two women have won it and two men have won it. Serena Williams, the great Serena, Serena Williams, has won the Golden Slam. The great Steffi Graf has won the Golden Slam. The great, um, I think, Roger Federer has won the Golden Slam. And the great Rafa Nadal has won the, great, uh, the Golden Slam. So Djokovic definitely wants to be in that field and is the best player that's ever played the game. How he hasn't won the Olympic gold, don't ask me. Actually, put in the comments, guys, put in the comments. Why do you think Djokovic hasn't won the Olympic gold? It should have. I mean, it's had four attempts. But going back to tomorrow's match, uh, I think I think the pressure, Djokovic says the pressure, he didn't say anything about the pressure, but he actually said he has nothing to lose. But I don't 100% believe he wants it. He's talked about it. He's been very vocal about it. And he really, really wants it. But he's playing the guy who beat him in straight sets comfortably on grass, which is Djokovic's second best surface. And he really beat him comprehensively and convincingly. Can Djokovic turn this around in about a month and win the gold medal? Playing the same guy. Alcaraz is super confident. His level is higher than Djokovic's level. Let me just put that out there. It's higher than Djokovic's level. But let me get to my prediction. So I think it's going to go to three sets. I think uh, Djokovic is going to win the first set. I think Carlos Alcaraz is going to come roaring back in the second set. And I think the third set uh, will go to a tie break. It's going to be super close, super tense. And I think Carlos Alcaraz is going to edge it in a 7-6 thriller in the third set in the Olympic. And he'll win it for gold. He'll win it for Spain, sorry. And win his first gold medal in his first Olympics. What records are this, is this guy not breaking? He's just breaking records. He's been in 19 finals in his young career and he's won 15 finals, guys. 15 out of 19. Incredible. Just incredible. This guy is just incredible. And he's nowhere near peak performance. Djokovic is going to throw the kitchen sink at this one. He's super motivated. He really, really wants this for Serbia. And he also really wants this for himself now i was debating with a couple of friends um, around uh which one is harder to win an olympic gold or to win a slam i went with winning an olympic gold because of the frequencies one in four years and also the the um, pressure the pressure that comes from being in the olympic games the pressure in the format of uh, country rather than yourself and just how it's all set up you know it's just crazy intense uh, some other people believe that maybe it's a grand slam that's easier but i always say you have four attempts at a grand slam every year you have one attempt at an olympic gold in four years um so uh but it's not about my opinion it's about yours leave your comments down below uh, like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for staying with me till the end and I'll see you in the next one.